It's the season for the great outdoors. And is there anything better than relaxing by the pool in front of your fire pit, enjoying the beautiful flames and the warm ambiance? I think not. What's going on guys? Welcome back yet again to another video. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. So guys, that fire pit that you saw in the intro, that's the fire pit we're gonna review. So we're gonna unbox it, assemble it, throw a propane tank in it, fire it up, and review it. So we got a lot to do, so let's get started. Oh guys, one more thing, hit subscribe. That's what the cool kids are doing. All right guys, just a quick reminder, this video has chapters, so you can easily skip ahead to the assembly or to any other part of the video. But I do recommend watching it all the way through so that you get a full idea of what you get with this fire pit, as well as the assembly process and how to turn the fire pit on and off safely. So we hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to give us a like and share this video and if you're not subscribed yet, please do. It helps us out tremendously. Thanks. What I really like about this fire pit is that it includes a dust cover. So for instance, if it's raining outside or snowing, this cover protects your fire pit. And to be honest, most fire pits don't come with a dust cover. So this is a bonus. And this is the lid that goes on top of the fire pit when not in use. And this is another cool feature of this fire pit is this glass windshield. Great for blocking wind and keeping little kids' fingers out of the flames. And this is the hardware that comes with the fire pit. This hardware includes two foot pads, eight brackets for the glass shields, and bolts and washers. And it also includes an Allen wrench for assembly. However, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver to assemble the glass shield. But that's it, easy. So now let's start the assembly process. So right off the bat guys, I screwed up. This piece here should be flipped the other way. Nowhere in the instructions did it say this. So keep this in mind when you assemble your fire pit. And actually it wasn't too hard to fix this. I simply unscrewed it and flipped it around. All these connections here are made with the long bolt and washer. All right, next thing you have to do is flip this over and then we're gonna attach the bottom piece where the propane tank sits on top of. So flip it over, that. Now this piece has to attach, you know, be like this. You want it to wear the foot pads here around the bottom. You don't want it to fit like that, obviously. So make sure you do it this way. And once again, line up the holes here. This bracket is attached with four short bolts, no washer. So of course, I had this piece on backwards. Got to flip it because you want these holes here on the bottom. So I didn't show that in the instructions, but no big deal. Just unscrewed it and you know, because you need these foot pads to attach here, these two screws here, so no biggie. So yeah, it's a simple fix. So this should help you avoid making the same mistake that I made, hopefully. Okay, now we attach the foot pads is two screws per foot pad. And once again, these are the short bolts. No washers. On to this step here. Now it's time to attach the top of the fire pit. Just four bolts. These are the long bolts with washers. So guys, have you ever assembled a fire pit? Let me know in the comments below. And was it easy or difficult? I would say for this fire pit, it was pretty easy. Except for the one screw up. <laughs> okay, before you flip this over, just tighten everything really, really well. Just make sure it's all good. I'm gonna go back and tighten every one of these. Just to make sure it's really tight. And guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And don't forget, hit subscribe. It's free. This goes right down here. If you can see, this goes into here. It's pretty simple. It doesn't really attach with any bolts or anything. This here is your 
latch. Get this open there. Like that. And you're good. Ain't going anywhere. Alright, the hard part is over. It looks really good. This is definitely a beautiful fire pit. Now let's get it outside. And one thing I gotta say, it's very lightweight and easy to move. Now it's time to attach the propane tank. I recommend using a brand new tank. This way you can enjoy the fire pit for many months without changing the tank. Simply connect the fire pit to the valve and just make sure to screw it on tightly. Always make sure this is really tight. It's super tight. We're not gonna turn this yet until I check the igniter first. So unscrew the igniter button and you want to insert a AA battery inside there. All right, gonna make sure the battery's in here. The plus is gonna face this way, like that. And just screw it on. You hear it? So you hear that. Um, right now we are on the off position, which is good. First thing we need to do is go ahead and put some decorative rocks in here. And I might set that glass up as well, it goes around it, it'll look real nice. So now we'll add the fire beads. Just spread them around evenly, and that's it. All right, here are the glass assembly that goes around this. You don't have to use this. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to assemble it. We'll assemble it here on the ground first. For this assembly, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. It's a pretty simple installation. And I'm sorry about the bad camera angle there, but you get the idea of how it works. Each corner gets an elbow, and you secure it using the Phillips head screwdriver. And also guys, check out our ultimate outdoor playlist which includes our pool build, our patio cover build, our turf installation, our RV gate installation, and even our solar panel installation. And there's dozens of videos to choose from. So guys, if you're still watching this video and you've made it this far, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And trust me, we're almost done here. And then we'll get to the review. And the product link for this fire pit will be in the description below. The retail price for this fire pit is $449 as of November 2021. All right, so we should go like this. There we go. Perfect. All right, now it's time to turn on the fire pit. So the first thing you wanna do is turn the propane tank valve to the left. Turn it all the way to the left till it won't turn anymore. And now we're ready to turn the fire pit on for the first time. So push in the dial, and you should hear gas coming out. Then press the igniter. I have to say the flames get pretty high, and it does give off quite a bit of heat. FYI, most fire pits don't give off too much heat, but with the setting on high for this fire pit, it does get hot. So that glass shield will come in handy especially if you have kids. To turn off the fire pit, turn the dial to off, and then turn the propane tank knob to the right all the way. So now I'll show you the flame adjustment. This is the low setting. Not much heat here. Just looks really good. So guys, now onto the review. So first, let's talk about what I like about the fire pit. From the overall look, it looks great. And this fire pit should work well in most backyard patio environments. The only style it may not look well with is a modern style. This style is more of a traditional style, but the look is great. I love the glass shield feature. It's a great wind blocker on windy nights. And once again, if you have little kids, it keeps their fingers out of the flames, which is good. And when the flame is turned on high, this fire pit does get hot, which is kind of rare because most fire pits do not give off any heat. 
So with this fire pit, you get a two for one. You get the beautiful flame and the heat. And this fire pit is also lightweight, which means you can move it around easily from one area to another. As far as assembly goes, it was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And turning this thing on and off is very simple as well. So is there any downside to this fire pit? I really can't think of anything I don't like, except for the door where the propane tank goes into. I kind of wish it was on a hinge, so that it was attached to the fire pit, but that's a minor thing. Other than that, this fire pit's pretty awesome. And with the added dust cover, to keep your fire pit covered during rain and snow, it's a really nice touch. So guys, as far as the review goes, we recommend this fire pit. It's easy to assemble, it's easy to turn on and off, it looks great, and gives off heat. So guys, if you're looking for a fire pit, this could be the one for you. Like I said before, the product link will be in the description below. Well guys, we're all done here. And once again, I want to thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day.